I've randomly generated NHL players and will be selecting 20 to build a team for NHL 24 franchise mode. For today's draft challenge, I will only be able to see a few of their career statistics. After all the selections are made, we will build the team and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. Forwards first, we get almost point a game right there. 159 and 344 also isn't bad. Hmm. With the first pick of this draft, I select the player on the left. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold says so. I'm not upset with that. I was this close to taking Perfetti. I almost went with the right side, but nope, went to the left. We get Johnny T, good hockey player. Next up, we have 328. Ooh, oh, okay. So none of these are really tremendous. The two players to the left have nearly the same amount of games played. That either means that they could have been drafted the same year or maybe a player just spent a little bit in the minors first. Who knows? I've got a rogue shout. I'm going with the right player this time. Okay, so hear me out. I'm happy because he's on the Capitals, but the other two players maybe would have been a little bit better overall wise. But you know what, Protus? Fire me vertical. Drum roll, please. Ooh, ooh, 502 in 868 is pretty good. The first player is also quite solid. Yeah, you know what? They hit the 500 point mark this last season. Let's celebrate and pick them. Okay, of the players on the board, not upset about that. Kalorn is very solid and he will be a welcomed addition to whatever team I make. Let's start seeing some point of game players here, you know? Ooh, 68 games played and 61 points. All but 539 and 514. Why'd you give me two gems like that? How many games did Bedard? miss and did he get that many points i think so if you want me to go with the player in the middle give me a hell yeah all right i'm doing it we are going with mr 68 games played one shy of being nice ladies and gentlemen we got him welcome to the team bedsy now you don't have to be rude you can give me another point a game player here or you can give me three players that are not even close the player on the right hit the 1000 games played mark in the most recent season i would think anyway okay going with the player on the left 552 points in 815 games reveal yourself and we land a christoph Kreider. Kyle Ocpozo, he did hit a thousand games, I'm pretty sure, from the podcast I watched him on. Very cool seeming guy. Down to earth, all that good stuff. But yeah, we went with the left player. So Chris, welcome aboard. Now remember, I will be sending these players to international. So we are going to be the only team with them. And I got to go with the left again. 330 games played. 127 goals we got a goal scorer i'm not gonna lie to you if you gave me 50 guesses probably would not have said this guy's name but he is more than welcome on my team carter for haggy is like 88 89 overall i think so that's fire keep it rolling here 530 Ooh, middle player looks pretty tempting 83 games played so they obviously have played two seasons you would have to unless it was their first season and they got traded regardless we got a young buck on the right but i am going for the middle player who is it yes sir this team is gonna be nasty andre svechnikov 316 points and we've got matthew nyes on the right that checks out 127 90 points in 221 and then 504 in 732 we have to go with the player in the middle, obviously. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're going for the right player. Whom star you? Player in the middle actually would have been very solid as well. Canuck, Niels Hoaglander, but the player on the right is former Canuck, Bo Horvat. Team's shaping up to be pretty good so far. I just realized I have never tested this for goalies. I have no idea what the goalie stats is going to look like. Kind of a good thing that I wasn't able to push these changes. I think where I host the website right now has some new policy where you have to get a plan or something. So I don't know. I'll try to figure that out. But regardless, player in the middle is screaming my name. So we're going with the player on the right. I don't know why I did that either. We get Evangelista. Missed out on Kairu. It is what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, we get three this is tough another player there that just reached the 1000 games played mark okay yeah i'm gonna do it going for the middle card you're not gonna like it that is unfortunate i was so close to taking jt miller so close and last second i decided to go with jeberly are you serious well card laid is a card play jordan eberly is joining our created team our penultimate forward will be a player that is situated to the right. And we're gonna love that. We get Nico Heischer. 
452 games played, 353 points. We got a returning face there in Scott Lawton. And now it is time for our final forward. We should probably take the player on the right again, or maybe the left. The player on the right definitely has more points per game. All right, fine. Yeah, let's go for the right yet again. Yes, sir. I feel like this team, at least offensively, we haven't drafted the defense yet, is very well-rounded with like goal scorers, playmakers, and two-way forwards. We're chilling. Is this team cap compliant? I'm gonna hit you with a solid no. First set of defensemen. Ooh, that is very intriguing. Definitely go into the left to start off our defensive core. I am very thrilled to announce that we will be adding to our team, Luke Hughes. Next up, we have some very intriguing stats on the left. But the thing with defensemen is you don't want to just get a bunch of offensive defensemen. Like the guy on the right, 714 games played, that's a vet right there. And he could be shutting it down. But just for now, we're going to take another Larry and we're going to the left. I would love to say I'm on fire today, but this one is really not that challenging. Just find the person that has the most points per game. 257. Hmm. Hmm. Should I go for the player in the middle? Just for fun? I do want to win another Stanley Cup, but... Okay, fine. We'll go to the left again. So hear me out. I accidentally clicked the randomize button again. So I have no idea who it is. I do, however, have the recording of how many points they have. So I'm going to put a bunch of question marks and I'm going to go back in the footage after this and try to figure out who it is. But for now, 84 games played, 47 points. Yes, this team's going to be unbelievable. Brock Faber joining our defensive core. Insane. And now it is our penultimate defenseman. 37 games played with 11 points, you know, that's not too shabby. All right, I'll play ball. Let's go for the player on the left. I regretfully inform you that we did not get Ekholm. We got Korzak. And now our final defenseman. Over a thousand games played. Oh yeah, the right all day long. That is unbelievable. It feels wrong to me that he's played that many games, but I guess he has been around for quite a bit. Number 77, Victor Hedman is our last defenseman. They should honestly just start putting our name on the cup already. So I left the stats on for goalies just to see what would happen and the website crash. So today we are going to be selecting goalies completely blind. Which one should I pick? Hmm. We have a lot to go off of here. Let's split the defenders and go right down the pipe. Who are you in the middle? Oh, you know what? That's actually kind of fire. We get Kachekov. Number 52. What an interesting jersey number. What an interesting lad. Starting goaltender. Maybe. A lot to go off of here again. I think the player on the right definitely has the best stats. So, I'm going to go with the player on the left. Goalie on the left. All right, we get... A right-handed Glover, I believe, with Karel Vemelka. Vegmelka? I don't know. I still don't know how to pronounce his name properly. Now, how's about we go assemble this team on NHL 24 and put them through a franchise simulation? Just start inscribing our name on the cup already. We did not add Kurt Angle to the mix, but instead, we added the Glendale Gladiators. We are 93 overall, which again is not the highest overall in the league. The divisions have been randomized, and we are ready to rumble. Oh, hey, look, it's our good old pal Jabroni, who will not be editing my lines. I'll have you know, I did find our mystery defender, and I am hyped about it. Our chemistry should be pretty good, I'm hoping. Oh yeah, plus four and plus three. The bottom two, not so much. We got John Tavares as our fourth, li third line center. I don't know where I pulled fourth up. We're going to try that whole thing again. So we got Tavares on the third line here. We've got Kreider on the fourth line. Bedsy, second line left wing. I don't know how I feel about that one. I can't lie. You know what? Hyman is left wing slash right wing. And he shoots right, so he's gonna come over here, and Kalorn's gonna go down to the fourth line. That third line is now gross. Defensively, here was our mystery man, Sergachev. He was the only one that had that amount of points. Not big on this dash one, however. So I might move Faber up and have Dobson on the third pair, which is absolutely cruel. All right, fine, I'll leave the dash one, and then we've got a plus one here for the third pair. Tending the goal, we have Kajekov, 84 overall, backed up by Karel, 82. Let's say that Svechnikov, you know what? No, I'm going crazy. Bedard gets the most points, and I've got an even crazier one for you. This could be plus four and plus three, or it could be a plus four, plus five. 
Oh yeah, this team gets 49 wins. No, 51. Screw it, we're gonna be sick. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. Currently first in the division. We are still very early. We're not first in the league from what I'm seeing. Our team was about $9 million over the cap, but you know what? That's what all the cool teams are doing these days. So I'm not too upset about it. See you later, Skyler. Our team is really deep and we also have some players that are young and will likely be growing throughout the season. Like Bedsy will probably go up. Kachekov could be going up. So what I'm trying to say is we're good now and we're only going to get better. I think Florida took us grabbing for Haggy from them personally. Oh, you think I'm going to enter the trade deadline? Well, guess what? You're correct. I am going to. Jeremy Swayman's almost always here. I feel like we've got Jonathan March or so, Mr. Con Smythe, not even on this team anymore, waiting for the roster update. There wasn't a single blockbuster trade, meaning Swayman didn't go anywhere. Kadri probably didn't go anywhere. Jonathan March or so stayed put. We are dominating right now. And as I say that, we are on a two game losing streak, but now we bounce back. 54 wins. This could be, a, this is the president's trophy. What am I saying could be? What a dominant season. All of that just to get put out in the first round. 122 points, not a big deal. We win the president's trophy by a lot. 74.4 point percentage, you love to see it. Top 16 teams made it in, okay. A lot of good things going on right here. Sveshnikov did end up leading the team with 86 points, but Bedsy's right there, 84, and he had 47 tucks. He's up to 89 overall, great. Hedman had 81. Nico with 75. Carell definitely didn't have the best time. 885 and a 351. But Kachekov, on the other hand, what a menace. He did go up one overall. Yeah, because he was 84. 41 points from Dobson. 48 for Sergachev. Also, plus 50 and plus 43. Nate Doggy Dog got 114 points and was a plus 35. McDavo, 111. And he had 50 goals. He might actually not win the Rocket Richard because Gino has 56. Kachekov did have the most wins. That checks out for sure. And Victor Hedman would lead defenseman with 81 points. What does the Fox say? Right on his tail, but nope. Three points back and a plus two versus a plus 43. You know what I mean? We don't need to look at their lines because it wasn't a fantasy draft. But first three games, everybody knows the rules. We win. We lose and we win. They can't take the series home in the next two. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, will they push a game seven or will we be moving on? Are you kidding me? I suppose this calls for a real time sim. Don't you dare give them power plays. John Tavares gets a peeper goal. Bedsy adds on top. It is an early two nothing lead. Great stuff. Ottawa had a long power play to start this period. They get another one and they can't score on either. We were out shooting them horrifically. They're kind of bringing it back now, but I think Glendale's playing pretty solid. Three minutes to go. Are we going to get the shutty? We sure are. Way to go, Kachekov. They're going to give Varlamov the first star. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? All right, bring out the next victim. Who are we going to be playing in round number two? They also went to seven. First three games. Everybody knows the rules. And we take an L. We take two Ls and a dub. Make it a best of three. Come on, don't lose again. Why? This calls for some drastic measures. I'm moving Hyman up so we get the five and the four. I'm splitting up Sergachev and Hedman for absolutely no reason other than the fact that we are losing a lot. Just a little line shuffle to let the boys know. And I'm not doing a real-time sim until they've earned it, which would be a game seven. I really thought this was going to be the one. I did. The Stanley Cup is awarded to the New York Rangers. The Calder goes to the Abbotsford Canucks. Bedsy had his guy. 15 points. And Victor Hedman had 11 in 12 games as a defenseman. That's crazy. John Tavares on the third line had 10. What are we doing here? Kachekov even played solid. We can't blame him at all. Say that, you know, goaltender wasn't great. No, he was good the whole time through. Dobson had six points and then everybody else had one. One point. Maybe I would expect that from Caden. He was 75 overall. Even he went up to a 78. Dreisaitl will not be winning the Conn Smythe. Neither will McDavid but it will likely go to Mika Zibanejad because the Rangers won the cup, right? Igor Shosturkin was phenomenal. A 928 save percentage, 232 GAA. Thatcher also has some amazing stats here. So does Bobrovsky. Adam Fox had 19 points. Bouchard with 18. 
Quinn Hughes with 17, his brother Luke got one, and I'm pretty sure he only played four less games. The Art Heart is split up this time. Nate gets the Art Ross, but the Heart Memorial goes to McDavo. We did get some hardware, a consolation prize. Victor Hedman grabbing the Norris. Barzal gets the Lady Bing. Another piece of hardware, Calder going to Bedsy. Zabeniad would get the Con Smythe. Kachekov gets the Vesna, but Freddie Anderson taking home the Jennings. DeMello is awarded the Masterton, whereas Howe is awarded the Jack Adams. Johnny Toes on the Toronto Maple Leafs gets the Selkie. McDavid with another trophy, and Malkin, as we saw, got the Rocket Richard with 56. Here is your playoff tree. I think I want to do something similar, but I want to try to get even less stats. So, like, how many goals they have, how many assists they have, maybe just how many games they've played, and that's it. I got to try to figure out the whole goaltender situation because, to be honest, when I was making these changes, didn't even think of that. And like I said, the changes haven't been pushed to the actual site yet because of the fact that I got to deal with something. I don't know. Well, try to figure it out. But as always, the link for that randomizer is down in the description below. And if you could leave a like, subscribe, that would be awesome. I've heard that if you do, your favorite player is winning the Rocket Richard next year. I don't make the rules. Appreciate you as always. And on that note, I'll see you soon.